Hi folks, Irish Trekkie, back another Star Trek The Official Starships Collection review. This time we have issue 159, we have The Battress. So man, the collection is chugging along and if you've missed out on a couple of reviews, do check out the description box below where you have all of my model review playlists. So uh, hopefully uh, you won't miss out there and can enjoy that and uh, be sure to like, share and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you liked what you see by the end of this video. Your support is greatly appreciated. Um, just again, if you missed an earlier video, I want to say that this uh, issue was gifted by Eagle Moss with no strings attached, so it'll be like any other review that I do where my thoughts and opinions are my own, but I just wanted to let you know uh, for um, transparency. So here we have number 159. We're gonna take a look at the model later on in the video. So let's put this to one side. Here's a little sneaky peek. And let's see what goodies lay inside the magazine. So type freighter, 24th century, length 290 meters with weaponry of rockets. So depending on when this goes up, the maybe the video before it was a freighter as well. So we're kind of getting into the logistics of Star Trek here. Um, we have four sections, the Batris, we have the Klingon Resurrected, uh, Morris Hurley on the early seasons of TNG and uh, on screen appearances. So it looks like it's going to be clipping into the cargo holes here. Looks pretty substantial. So we'll check out that stand a little bit later on in the video. And then some close up shots with the kind of more, um, I'd say they the look basic, these engines, but again, a no frills freighter here. It's classed on Terry's um, Merculite rockets by the looks of it. Uh, Crew 12, uh, 24th century in use. So uh, owner, the Telerians. So, nice graphic here. So the Batchers was discovered in the neutral zone by the crew of the USS Enterprise, NCC-1701D. This was surprising because the neutral zone was very far from the Tellurian freighters, nor where, where Tellurian freighters normally operated even. Um, the Batchers had a functional design that was built to transport cargo between star systems. It was far from an elegant ship and certainly did not pose cutting edge technology. I possess even by 2364 despite this it was still fit for purpose in hauling freight so again glorified box and um, here you have the on-screen uh, footage off it there which is quite close to the graphic that we see here as well so that's pretty cool here you have another shot love to have the nebulas behind them as well for um, for interest here as well. So again, you have some insights into how it was introduced into the episode. Again, some of the key scenes as well. And again, uh, Commander Chorus here as well. So again, feel free to pause if the quality is suitable for you to read. Otherwise, you can enjoy the magazine when you get it. Um, not a bad profile, a uh, side view. I mean, uh, you have your main bridge, cargo modules, loading hatch, again, your engine section forward habitation section over here as well uh warp nacelles interestingly over here in the cargo module and then you have your engine exhaust you would take the i'm not sure about that um i would have said maybe kind of integrated into maybe the the impulse sections over here but you know i stand corrected i just think it'd be a waste of space to take over some of the cargo module with the the nacelle like that um, Klingons resurrected, so again TNG brought a new spin to Klingons and um, kind of continued on from the movies. Uh, so again we have the early years of TNG, Back, look at all those baby faces. <laughs> it seems so long ago because you know what, 30 years it was, <laughs> 30 years ago it was. Um, but again brought some fantastic lore added into the existing uh, great work of TOS as well. Um, and again, here we have the first appearance. So, Heart of Glory, TNG, and um, again, designed by uh, the amazing Greg Jean as well. Fantastic work. And uh, we're gonna check out the model in a few moments, but before I do, here's a sneak peek of issue 160. We have the United Earth Sarajevo. So an in-depth profile, again, designed by John Eves. Awesome dude. And look behind the scenes of the fourth season of Enterprise. So. Let's uh, end out on the back graphic and uh, let's check out the model, shall we? Okay, 
So we have the Batras. Let's check you out. Long ship. Very weathered and old looking. So put that over here. And we have our 3348 A slash A. Take you out. Throw that over there because we don't need you. Centrally mounted. Where's that mount? And it looks like a decent mounting point there as well. So let's get rid of the wrapper. Add it to the mound over there before I clean out the room. And uh, here we have the battress. So very well detailed sculpt on it, to be honest with you. But man, it, they, they've really painted it to be like super old. Here you have some of the markings on it as well, which is nice to see markings on an alien ship because like, Again, Earth standards wouldn't be, you know, the only ships that do that. So we have a bit of an, an anomaly here on the cargo section, a bit of a separation. Might be able to fix that, I don't know. Um, not budging really. So as you can see here, a bit of separation. Um, paint wise, you have your wash going over that. You have your grays kind of detailing some of the kind of mechanical components off it few different variations of brown yellow yellow windows in here I don't see huge kind of sculpting on the window so the alignment looks pretty good again the alignment is actually quite good here and again with your red detailing showing up some of those uh, decals very detailed on the underside of the ship as well you could put this in the Star Wars universe too to be honest with you and here's your so what were they saying these were the warp they sells over here which is odd and again these look like real old impulse style engines maybe that's like the reactor here as well well away from the rest of the ship so the shielding mightn't be great on them it's quite nice now again this came up in uh, several variations and at DST we saw another variation of a ship to come which is a variation of this kind of had like hot rod exhaust as Ryan Denning said um, so this is going to mount just on the cargo holes here. Die cast kind of plastic on the ventral section as well. Um, a little bit loose, but again, you're not going to be kind of flinging these around anyway. So well, there's the Batras. Let's put her on the stand and we'll compare it to a ship in the line so you can kind of get a sense of scale. Just because I like to get uh, the Enterprise D out as often as I can, um, we're going to compare to it today. We have the Batris and the Enterprise D um, as they would have shared the same screen time. Um, gives you a good sense of scale between the very first ship in the line and uh, the one that we're reviewing today. So again, a gulf of difference between this, the kind of technological uh, design and uh, reasons for the ship and even difference in scale as well. But I do like the Batras. I'm looking forward to the um, mod modified version of it to come in the collection as well, up around the 170-ish, mid-170 mid mark as well. But it's a sizable ship and uh, a nice companion piece for the collection. Um, I'd like to know what you folks think of the Batras, uh, paint depth detailing, is it on point from your perspective and uh, is it on your hit list to purchase for the collection if you're an a la carte um, buyer. Um, as always, use the description box, or the description box even, uh, use the comments to uh, sound off and uh, do check out the description box, seeing as I mentioned it, about all the previous model reviews and the playlists outlined and uh, again you can find me over on social media in there as well and also you'll find the patreon link to the channel that you can um, support through there as well so your support is greatly appreciated um as always i want to thank you for taking the time out of your day to stop by and uh, check out the video big shout out to hero collector for gifting the model and um as always i've been your local irish tracky don't forget to like share subscribe hit that notification bell and uh, i will see you in the next video so take it easy and goodbye.